the little videos in which I try to help you set up something on your computer or take you through a concept. Uh, this video is about using MacGamut. MacGamut is our ear training program. So if you've gotten this, you install the disk, you follow the setup program, setup protocols that you have there. It will ask you to create a startup file. Please do that. It will also ask you if you want to use any presets. Well, I can tell you that the presets you want to use, and I will find these over here. Where you? Magamma presets and libraries. You will have something called MUS guide files, music guide files. We use the music guide system here. I'm having a heck of a time making this work. You want to install MGS presets mg6.mgp. And once that is installed, then what you can do is launch MacGamut, which looks like this. I like the uh, Bear in the Moose singing Oh Canada, it always makes me laugh. So then you're asked to uh, open your startmg6.mgs files, um, the one you just created. So you'll click OK, and you'll see something come up called the MacGamut work folder. And it should say your name, start, and 6 and S. So click on that, click that open, use this on the files at the last time you use it, and then current presets file MGS presets. If for some reason you need to change the presets file, you click on change presets, and that will come up. You can hit cancel on that because you don't need to worry about it. And then you click OK, then this happens. So make sure your volume is up. If you hear a chord arpeggiated and blocked, then you should be OK. So you click OK. Your very first assignment is in Rhythmic Dictation, Rhythmic Dictation 1 and 2. So come to this menu, click on Rhythmic Dictation. And you can set it up for either regular mode or practice mode. I'll do a practice mode right now to show you. Um, when you turn in your MacGamut logs, I either want to see mastery or that you spend at least 45 minutes per level. So, patterns one, simple meter. We'll click on OK. We've got it in practice mode here. And then you see this come up. If you look at this window over here in the lower right hand, you see play. Now when you hit that, it's going to play a recording for you. You'll see this is in 3-4 time, which is, of course, a simple triple meter. And you see across the top here different note and rest values. For this first one, you just have to worry about the note values. You see these numbers here. These aren't beats necessarily. They're just placements for what you're going to do. And then over here we have bar lines. We'll put those in in a minute. So let's play this. Let's see what happens. All right, so played it once. I heard this rhythm. And I think, and then after I put in my note values, drop a bar line in. And I believe that the last two bars are simply a repeat of the first two, but let's listen to it again. certainly sounds like that. So what I then do is I drop a quarter note here, dot it. So you need to erase this because I put in the dot with the note and then since it is that, let's put in a bar line as well. A half note. And then when you come to the ends, we drop the double bar. All right, let's listen to it one more time, see if what we see lines up with what we hear. I think that's good enough for me, so let's check answer and see what happens. 
There we go. Let's do another one here and let's see what happens when you don't do it right. So, all right. So let's let's start it. Let's listen to it. Okay. So. I'm intentionally doing this erroneously. And then making one mistake in here. If I want to show beaming, I can add beams in here. Connect them across as such. And we'll talk about beaming and things like that. That won't absolutely be necessary, but let's see what happens. So I'll play one more time. The mistake is right around here. It should be two eighth notes instead of a quarter. Let's see what happens. Okay, I know this is wrong. Let's see what happens when I check the answer. I didn't mess up enough. It's still 88% correctly. All right, so I see the mistake here. Let's see the correct answer. Yes, this is what it should have looked like. So, anyway, this is how Matt Gamut works. When you when exit here, depending on what sort of thing we have to do, we go in through any one of these paths, and your uh, objectives, goals guide should help you uh, determine which one of these you need to go under. So. Anyway, happy Mac Gamuting, and when you're done with Mac Gamut, you simply hit quit. It will have you do a backup copy. That's fine. Go ahead and I did one earlier today. And then that should do it. So, hope you enjoy it. I find it to be a very effective tool.